Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to your Friday, May 12th, Wisconsin Reseller Vlog. Vlog. Yeah, it's not really. I need to start getting like clips of. It's hard because I didn't, I've never been a photographer. I like to live in the moment, I like to do what I want. So for me to be like, wait, let's get this on camera. I just. So you get me in the car talking. That's my vlog. That's that's my version of it. Sometimes you get Kennedy. Once in a great while you get Jerry. Um, I thought I'd give you guys at least the nice green scenery of Wisconsin because last time I think it was still dark and dreary and I don't know why. and I don't feel like flipping the camera today so um like I said today is May 12th it is 55 degrees out it's supposed to get up to about 68 today it'd be fairly nice like partly cloudy um next week we're supposed to hit like 79 ish or 80 depending on who you listen to days. It's the middle of the week. And it's supposed to be muggy. I don't know. Mugginess doesn't bother me that much, but the fact that it's supposed to be nice during the work week kind of bothers me. But anyways, um, so here's my update for yesterday. <clears throat> Zero sales across all three platforms. I did not sell any t-shirts, I didn't sell anything on eBay, and I didn't sell anything on Amazon. Bummer. Oh well, life goes on. Um, actually wait, I take that back. I did sell something on eBay. The guy offered me $15 on a $19 pair of shorts, and they were already on sale for 50% off. I took it. And then, the, I'm trying not to be so judgmental, the, the person still hasn't paid me. I'm like, really? You know, don't offer me. Probably it was always a competitor just to get it off the market. Well, he's, well his is on sale. No, that's, that's conspiracy theory talk. That's stupid. I'm just, I get really irritated with that. It's, and I accepted the offer pretty quick. It's not like I waited hours to accept it. I took it like right away. Um, so anyways, let's talk about what I did last night. Last night was a Y night, so I went to the Y and I ran slash walked three miles again. Um, I'm trying to get up to where I can at least run a mile all straight, you know. So far I'm only up to two minutes of running. So, I'll get there, but, um, it's kind of going, but, you know, I can tell each time I run that it's easier, like, especially when I was young, I hated to run because, um, it was actually hard for me to breathe, and that was because this, don't, don't judge my parents, that was before, oh crap, um, that was before all, a lot of the, um, what do you call it, that was before it became common knowledge that secondhand smoke is really not good for you either, you know, my parents smoked, they never wanted me to smoke, I did smoke for 10 years, no way, 20 years, holy crap. It was about 20 years. Um, you know, and it was just, it was hard for me to run, you know, so because it was hard for me to breathe, I think. And, you know, you never put two and two together. And then when you get older and you can't run or do anything, well, then you're being stubborn. So, whatever. Um, yeah, when I get old, when I got older, the problem with me running or doing anything 
real physical. That was that was my fault. You know, I don't blame my parents for that anymore. But you know, when they made you do like do the ten minute run or whatever when you were a kid, first of all, it seemed like forever. Oh my god! And then. And then there was no way I could do it, you know. So I'm trying to work myself up to being able to run for 10 minutes. And that's about the mile. That's about the pace I do for one mile. So that's what I'm trying to get myself up to. I'm up to about two minutes in a row. So last night what I did was I ran, ran for two minutes. Then I walked for like a minute and a half. Then I ran for two. Then I walked for a minute and a half. Then I ran for a minute and a half. So getting there and then the other thing is I really got to be careful with my knees so um, but you know I haven't had it noticed any, I don't know if the shoes I have are really good or if it's because I'm wearing good shoes or if it's because I'm on a treadmill and not on concrete I don't know my knees have been actually pretty good my knees actually hurt more after going bowling the other day and that's why I had to do fat burn walks for a week instead of um running but that's okay it's nice to mix it up too um so yeah next time I go I'll probably I don't know maybe I'll push the first run to three minutes or two and a half minutes probably go two and a half and then try to push this keep the second one at two and then go down from there and then after that I just did the run a minute walk a minute all the way through, almost all the way to the end of the workout until I hit my three mile mark. Um, right now it takes me about, about 40, last night it took me about 42 minutes to do three miles. Um, the night before it took me 46, you know, and I attribute that to running a little bit longer in a row at the beginning, so. Um, I am down about nine pounds from where I, from my heaviest point. Um, and that my heaviest point is probably, we could probably say that, that was probably like two or three months ago. So it's not coming off real fast, but you know, I probably had too many cheat days too. So um, as long as I keep going somewhat in the right direction, I yeah, keep track of my weight, and you can do what you want. I weigh myself every day. That's just my opinion. That's what keeps me on track, because if I notice I go up too much, you know, if I go up one day, fine, you know, but if I go up, like, two or three days in a row, I'm like, okay, something's got to, I got to get back on track here, you know, so it keeps me honest with myself. Some people can't do that. They got to wait, you know, and I don't know. Maybe I'm OCD about it, but whatever. I can tell you I'm definitely not becoming anorexic or whatever because I like food too much. So, um, so yeah, as long as I don't see that trending upward. And then I, I take other things into consideration too, whether Aunt Flo is coming to town or she's in town that all makes a difference so yeah um let's see what else this morning I did get two March shirts up this morning um I was hoping design candy was gonna be back up and running but it doesn't look like they're quite ready to go this morning yet so which is fine I did two of my own designs one of them actually I might take down and redo it but we'll leave it up for now until I get a better design done with it. I think the kerning on one of my words was just, it's just not quite right. So I got to fix that. And I'll just turn my shapes, turn my words into outlines and fix it that way. Um, now, Jerry, who's like the designer guy, he says it looks fine, but I, I don't know. You know, and then I'm trying to get Jerry to learn Illustrator. And once again, he's using the excuse that the computer is my computer, which is fine. First of all, there's nothing on the computer that I'm worried about him finding. I do understand that he's worried about breaking it. Um, but 
I told him, you know, the problem I have is, you know, he wants to learn Illustrator because he's very artistic, but he doesn't know nothing about computer graphics. So he wants to learn Illustrator, and I said, you know, I'll buy a course online that you can, you know, teach yourself Illustrator, you know, and then see what I do with Illustrator is, I kind of have an idea in my head, and then if I don't know how to do something, I Google it. Well, Jerry's not good at Googling. But I thought if I bought him, like, maybe a Udemy course or something online you know it's a business write-off that's fine and you know he could teach himself that way that way he can do design t-shirts as well and I'm not doing all of the t-shirt work too you know and I get he's not gonna get the keyword thing and all that other stuff that that'll be my job still but you know if he can do the designs really cool because like I said he's very creative most of my designs are text with maybe a JPEG thrown in or some sort of graphic thrown in you know I don't have a lot of I haven't drawn a lot from scratch oh that was the other reason why I wanted design candy back up um I wanted a custom design done and I want it done sooner than later and I'm waiting and I don't know, I still got that fear of dealing with someone from overseas for, you know, I'm afraid of getting ripped off, and I, 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 I clam up, so this will be my first step in working with someone, um, as far as getting a design goes, and I really want to get it up sooner than later, because I really think I can make a lot of money on this t-shirt design, but, and there's only four of them out there with this keyword so far. So I really want to get it done and get it out there. Um, really pick a lane, lady. Oh, girl, honey. Uh, I hate this roundabout, but this intersection was a hell of a lot worse before they put the roundabouts in. So. I always said if there's one spot in the entire world that needs a roundabout, it's that intersection. And it's because they had stoplights at the main street and then there was a frontage road too close to the main street and then people would get backed up way past the frontage road and then you couldn't turn on to the crossroad. Ugh. So anyways, that's what I had going on. Um, Yeah, that's what I got going on um, this weekend. Probably not doing any rummaging. I am going to get some stuff listed and do a little bit of rearranging in the basement. So we can walk in our basement again because I Jerry has complained that that's why he doesn't help me, which I get it. So we're going to do some of that. I'm going to get some shit listed. And then we got a haircut appointment in Chevegas at one so we gotta leave around noon which means we gotta be packed because we're staying overnight so all right that is it for today guys unless we come back later with kennedy um please like comment subscribe feel free to follow me on facebook wisconsin reseller it's just a page it's not a group i'm not starting a group i don't have time for that um find lots of stuff today get it listed and be productive have a great day guys bye